Okay, the glue server has been installed and also configured using the setup.py script. And these are the settings that I used for that setup. Actually, it begins here where I enter the command. And then here it says the uh, glue server installation was successful. Point my browser to the host name that I gave it during the installation process. So I'm going to try that right now. I'm going to copy this uh, URL. And this URL is a DNS entry for my EC2 instance on Amazon. So that should allow me to um, access that server. So we'll give it a try now. HTTPS, because it did set up a certificate. And it says this web page is not available. So this is part of the problem I'm having with Glue Server right now, because uh, the server is running and I cannot access the server. This is the way I usually check to see if the server is running. And it says the glue server is started. And I need to check and make sure the firewall is off so that's not causing a problem. And the firewall is not running. So if I check the HTTPD daemon for the server, not for the glue server, I can see if that is running, and it's not running. So my understanding is that I don't need to have the HTTPD or the Apache server running for the original server. I only need to have it running for the Glue server. So I'll log into the Glue server, and I'll check the status of uh, the HTTPD daemon. And that has stopped. So what I'll try and do is start that daemon. and I get an error. I cannot assign current address. Um, could not bind to this address. 528831.8 and inside of uh, my EC2 console I can see this is the IP address here. So it may be that um, it cannot bind to that address because that address is not available on the server. So I think I need to go in and update the server so that it uses a new IP address or reinstall glue or rerun the setup script with the current or the proper IP address. So I'm going to try that right now. This is what I hope will work, allowing me to run the setup script again. So I'll accept this email, this IP address, which is the local IP address. This host name is the host name for the server, the public DNS entry. So I'm going to not use this um, name because I think I'd like to use the internal host name. But I get the feeling the internal host name may not work. So I'll try it this way, and then I'll try it with the internal host name next. So I'll use the same information that I had previously. And here, I think I will update the host name. So that way, well, I'll use no. I'm sorry, I'll use no. See if that option works a little bit better. I'll accept the defaults for the other options and no for these options. And yes for the replying party, for the RP. OX auth RP is the replying party and I'll continue with these values. <clears throat> so my understanding that the script may take a while again to run, so I will stop the video and then return when the script is finished running.